Stephen Marbury's career in New York flamed out almost as brightly as it began. The Coney Island kid came to the Knicks trumpeted as the one to turn everything around. But pretty soon after, he was swept up in New York headlines, getting paid millions just to sit on the bench. After strange episodes online and in the media, he took a contract to play in China, by this time widely considered more of a laughing stock than a basketball star. But take one look around Beijing now and you'll see a crazy different story. I think every Beijing people like, like him and love him. Uh, he's a hero of Beijing, I think. One, yeah. is, is that Beijing people often call him Ma Jiao Lian. He's the main leader of the team. He's the leader of the team. He's the leader of the team. Everyone thinks that Ma Bui is very strong. So we're about to go in and see Stephen Ma Bui's stage play. It's called I Am Ma Bui, and it's costing 880 RMB, which is about $150. So these tickets are not cheap, but let's see what he's got to show for himself. It's quite a still atmosphere in here. Um, although we've still got about 30 minutes till kickoff, so we don't know how things are going to pan out. You can see some basketball hoops on the stage um, and a really ambitious amount of seats. I don't know how quickly this is going to fill up. With all the fanfare surrounding this event, I wanted to find out if the play was the product of an athlete scratching for his last bit of fame, or just a savvy businessman capitalising on a lucrative market. Uh, this is my fifth year, going on five and a half years I've been playing, I'll be playing here. Um, I mean, I, it was just a, it was an opportunity for me to come in and play, and for me also to build my brand, so it was clear in what it, what it was that I wanted to do in playing basketball and, and also trying to uh, reestablish my brand. And I, I think when I came here, you know, people called me crazy and they called me stupid for playing in the CBA. Um, they talked bad about China, people from America. I saw something totally different than what they saw. Um, I wasn't just seeing the basketball part, I was seeing how, how the people were showing love and I was seeing how the league was growing and how, you know, the venues were beginning to change. And once I started to see that, I saw the rise and it being just like the NBA or probably even bigger one day. This is totally different. It's not just basketball here. It's bigger than basketball. The play itself paralleled the lives of Stephen Marbury and co-star Mike Soy, a Chinese-American comedian who found relative fame through videos posted online. It was kind of tough to know how the crowd would react, but as the play went on, the auditorium filled up and the energy rose. Obviously, 
在路上被雨淋湿，狼狈的模样。有温暖的笑容，有热情和梦想。从黑夜一直奔跑，想追赶太阳。我不怕为梦受伤，更不会迷惘。我只想踏着远方，尽取所有力量，去坚持梦想。The connections were loose, but the basic theme was that at Soy's lowest point in his path to becoming a musician, he was helped by a hooded man, later revealed to be Marbury. Hey, brother. I know you. You are just like me. Listen, you gotta learn to face the reality. Don't escape from or complain about your situation. Live in the moment. Be positive and believe in yourself. Don't follow others. You are a unique creature from God. You will find your own way if you keep trying. You need to be a good team member and love your teammates. Everything comes from the blessings of God. He will give you the best. Stand up. Rise up. Who? Cheer up. Who's talking? Who's talking? I dreamed of coming to Beijing. But I never expected the dream would come true. The reality is even more wonderful than the dream. From that moment, our lives connected. I am Marbury. We are all Marbury. We are all proud of ourselves. I am a champion. You are a champion. But it was all yesterday. We will never stop moving on. We will never be satisfied. In this city, all kinds of power are pushing us forward. Work hard. Success is never easy. Work hard. Efforts make us distinguished. Work hard. Great efforts create more valuable results. We don't need free lunches. We are who we are. Let's all move forward together. It is going to be a long journey. Along this journey, we are happy. I have one word for you guys. How long do you plan on staying here for? I plan on staying here for the rest of my life. Really? Yes. All right, this is my home now.
Marbury's finally found somewhere where he can be taken totally seriously. That final speech felt like it should have been delivered satirically, but it was delivered with such passion and such belief. I feel like he's kind of embraced the culture to the extent where he's kind of become a mascot to Beijing. Um, on the one hand, it's the most ridiculous play I've ever seen, and on the other hand, it's so much bigger than that. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going.